An unusual alliance today between the Attorney General of the United States, Eric Holder, and some leading voices in the Tea Party movement. For the first time, Holder is calling for a change in state laws that prevent millions of ex-convicts from voting, laws that have uh, the biggest impact on African-American men. Let's talk about that and more. Joining us, our Crossfire co-hosts, Essie Cup and Van Jones, along with our senior legal analyst, Jeffrey Tubin, who's still with us. Jeffrey, you just interviewed the Attorney General for the new issue of New Yorker magazine. I'll put it up on the screen, among other things, he said, the history of this nation has always been to try to expand the franchise, whether it's freed slaves, women, young people. We've always found ways to make it easier to vote. We've always found ways in which we've made the voting process more inclusive. Uh, so, so what do you think about this? Uh, is this likely to go anywhere? What's your sense? Well, he has, uh, the, the Justice Department has filed lawsuits against North Carolina and Texas to try to overturn their photo ID laws and other laws that were passed in the wake of the Supreme Court's uh, gutting of the Voting Rights Act. I think the um, speech today about uh, felon voting is all part of Eric Holder, I think, trying to reorient his tenure as attorney general away from things like national security and towards civil rights, which is, I think, what he would rather be concentrating on than other areas that have given him a lot of problems. Where do you stand on this, S.E.? And then I'm going to advance quickly, but S.E. first. Well, I think Republicans often get into trouble, and I'm not surprised that, that Rand Paul and Mike Lee are with Holder on this. Republicans often get into trouble when Democrats couple. raise these issues like equal pay, Lily Ledbetter, violence against women, voting rights, issues that might be important and should deserve debate, but that are generally designed to also make Republicans look very intolerant. Often we fall into that trap, even when we have good arguments against all of this stuff, and there are good arguments against felony voting. Well, I, first of all, I think this is, this is the beginning of something very important. I think you're going to begin to see a left-right alliance to try and do something about this out-of-control prison system. If you're a conservative and you're concerned about big, bloated government bureaucracies that are getting out of control, the prison system really is right. should be right. at the top it's of your list. Be a huge debate.